Hello, today is the 27th of June, 2023. Trading is closed. As always, we'll begin with our disclaimer, go over our calls and make some predictions. This is my trading plan for tomorrow, which is Wednesday, June 28th, 2023. Remember, until further notice, I'm not going to have as much time as I normally do to analyze things. Fortunately, tomorrow and Thursday, 28th, 29th of June, Rod David is going to lend his expertise free to viewers of my channel. You don't have to leave your credit card, no registration, don't have to leave your email address, you go to this website, go to this channel, you will have to type it in. And these are the Eastern times when he's making his calls and he explains what he does and has his own unique approach. So don't let this opportunity pass you by. I was busy almost all day long today. Didn't have much time to look at the market, but he has plenty of time and you don't get an opportunity like this every day. Well, for today we had the pattern with the early high, that's this, and tomorrow should also have the early high. We had some targets, 43.6207 and 43.5827. I obviously wasn't very thrilled with these targets after a big drop like this, but I said unless we gap down smartly, the rules call for them to print, and they did. We also crossed an old target from earlier in the, uh, the last which uh, was on Friday, I think, off the list, 43.66.56. So all those things printed. Not only do we clear all those targets, we also cleared the FOMC announcement price, 43.73.93. And that's not supposed to happen if things go according to plan. Now, of course, tomorrow's open substitutes for today's close and futures are already down nine and three quarters handles. So if we open under this line, this break doesn't mean anything. <clears throat> if we don't get any follow through, this break doesn't mean anything. But to keep my plan alive, we're really going to have to take uh, take this number out pretty quickly early tomorrow. Well, this is a strong rally. It did almost everything it had to do, but it didn't do the one thing it had to do, and that's clear this gap. This was Monday. This was Friday. Friday we gapped down, had this big drop. We had this huge rally. Here's where we closed. All we did was fill the gap. Now, if the rally is going to do more than fill the gap, it has to continue higher. And since we rallied all day and couldn't close over midday highs, it really has to continue higher promptly. So if this is more than just a gap fill, the market's going to have to probably gap at the open and take this gap in either direction at the open and take this high out early. And if it can't do that, and especially if it gaps down smartly under this FOMC announcement price, this is just a gap fill and nothing more than that. And we're not going to know that until tomorrow. Early on, MJT said ultimately higher prices would print. They certainly did, gave another buy signal in the afternoon, and that's already played out. Now, there's no perfect way to count this, but if this is the right count, we're going to wave three up and all the surprises should be on the upside. But I still want to complete an ABC in this area. We've completed what I'm calling wave red one, a black three. This could well be A. I think we're in B, not the only way to count it, but until it's proven invalid, I'm going to go with that. And there should be one more wave C, probably hitting one of these numbers. Now that certainly isn't carved in stone. And if we just keep going up, we could be in a wave three of multiple degree. Anything's possible. This doesn't even have to be the right count. But um, <clears throat> I'm looking for this to stop someplace, have one more drop, and then have the big rally in July. But just because I'm looking for it doesn't make me right. We have to see what happens tomorrow. So there's a good chance we're either going to confirm this is the real thing by taking this high out early, ideally by gapping up over it, or 
what I think is more likely, but doesn't make me right, is that we show this is just a gap fill, take this out early. And if we do, you have to look at the origin of this rally. This is close enough to a wall with gap for us to apply the principle that these things are not stable. This isn't a stable base for a good rally to begin. These things tend to fill and usually fill pretty quickly with support under the origin. So if we do gap down, we could erase all of today's gains. It certainly isn't required, but it happens often enough. So tomorrow's open should be pretty important. Well, tomorrow's pattern has the early high. We could still gap down. Today's normally bearish pattern wasn't. It was bullish instead. And unless we gap down smartly, higher prices should print. Doesn't mean you close higher. We have a NASDAQ McClellan oscillator Bollinger Band reversal buy signal that adds credence to today's rally getting, getting follow through. And the move over the FOMC announcement price needs to be reversed quickly to keep my call for a low under 4300 cash on this leg to be on track. I mean, I can make calls that fail, but if that's going to work, any moves over this price should be reversed quickly. If that doesn't happen, you have to wonder if the whole idea is wrong catch for the bulls is that so far all we've done is to fill a gap and the day-long rally closed under midday highs and the whole origin of this rally its base is unstable and tends to fill often fairly quickly now the ideal situation for the bears is a gap down but you have the potential not a requirement to erase all of today's gains in fairly short order and the ideal situation for the bulls is to gap up in which case i only have a strong target for the end of this leg higher. Don't forget, this could be a wave three up and this could be a third wave of, multi of multiple degree. You don't know. I mean, you gap up here and keep going. I don't know where it ends. We certainly have a higher target. And if that doesn't work, we certainly have a lower target. And even if these numbers seem to be improbable, we've seen today, even if it doesn't seem probable, they do print. I still would like to see this uh, pattern complete under 4,300 cash. I think it would be a great entry if it happened, if we had a straight line move down by the end of this week and next week, which is, which is historically one of the market's most positive weeks, the weeks in which the 4th of July falls. I would like that to start from a lower price, but again, market doesn't always give me what I like. So, we take this out early, we could go higher. I don't know how high, but there's one target. And if we drop, I think we could erase all of today's gains pretty quickly. And don't forget, we have targets at lower prices. So we'll have to see how we open tomorrow. It's a pattern with the early high. It doesn't mean we don't that we can't gap down, and that's today's call.